morning. Well, this morning I have a little fact to share with you. Do you know that inside your head you think four to five times more words than come out of your mouth? So if I say about 120 words a minute, that means, what? <laughs> that means that I have about 500 words going around in my head at the same time. That didn't come out. So that either means you have to listen quicker or listen slower to what I'm saying. So listening is the key today. And let's see if you can figure out what my theme is for today. If I can figure it out. Here we go. Let's see if we can figure it out together by my clue here. Doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. See if you can figure out my clue. What do you think my scheme is for today? What do you think? You think it's what? What do you yeah, what do you think it is, Calissa? What do you think? What do I got? A two pair, a, a giant pair of what? A giant pair of ears. So my story is about listening today. So if I have two ears, God gave us two ears, but they gave us one what? One mouth. Do you think that's because God wants us to listen double and talk less? Do you think? Well, that's what our story is about today that Cleo just read to us. Samuel was laying in bed, and he kept hearing what he thought was Eli, his teacher, and the man that he lived with who was teaching him all about God. He kept thinking he was hearing Eli call him, and he kept jumping out of bed and going back and jumping out of bed and going back. Eli was getting a little irritated, and so was Samuel. He didn't understand. He was using the ear. He was listening, but it wasn't Eli who was calling. Do you remember what it said in the story? He thought it was God calling. And so Eli said, here's our plan. The next time you hear that, I want you to say, here I am. I am listening. And that's what happened. You know, and there's other times in the Bible where God has called out and called somebody by name like he was calling Samuel. Do you remember in the burning bush and with Moses? He was calling Moses, Moses from the burning bush. And how about when Jesus was going through the village one day and Zacchaeus was up in the tree? He called Zacchaeus down by name. And God calls each of us. Now, we might not hear it like in a burning bush or in the night or in a booming voice like we hear in the story. But God is calling us all the time. And we can hear it in our head when we know it's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do or what God wants us to do. We can hear it. Have you ever been in your house and there's a really delicious treat in the kitchen and it keeps calling you and it's saying, please come and eat me and it's a piece of chocolate cake. Or you're supposed to be doing your homework and the video game keeps going, please come and play me. Come and play me. You know, that never happened to you? What's your favorite treat, Calissa? What's your favorite treat? You like a lot of treats, it's hard to say. Okay, tell me just one of your favorite treats. Ice cream. So from the freezer, you can hear it calling and saying, eat me, eat me. Well, it's kind of like that, except God is calling us to do great things. God is calling us to help our friend. God is calling us to take care of each other. God is calling us to help the environment. God is calling us to walk in the crop walk. God is calling us in so many ways. We might not hear him out loud, but we can hear him through prayer and song and each other. We just have to be listening. Dear God, thank you for giving us two ears to listen and one mouth to speak. Help us to be good listeners, not only to listen for your voice, God, and your direction in our lives, but to listen to each other 
and respond in kindness, caring, and love. Amen.